Hey everybody, this is Patrick Schalke, Editor-in-Chief of Yachting Magazine. We are here today at the Colin Yachting Festival with Matteo Balladinelli from Odom, and we are here to bring you the Odom 58 GTS. Good day, Matteo. Welcome on board, everybody. Welcome. Yeah, you know, we had a chance to see this boat on the water a couple days ago, and the thing that struck me about it was, aside from the ride, was the overall performance of this boat. And for people who are looking at a performance boat, Odom is kind of special. And what makes Odom such a high performing boat? Uh, thank you for the clear question, which actually obliged me to give a clear answer. <laughs> and, and actually I underline a few key points of why Odom is uh, considered a little war apart. We made a clear choice to be in the range in the field of fast yachts is not only the power and the size of the engine that give you a performance. What I'm talking about is a deep V hull shape, 21 degrees dead rise angle, which gives us a very fast reactiveness um, performance and, and, and attitude of the boat itself. Plus, uh, we uh, over-engineered our structures, interior structure, and the boat is not done in uh, simple GRP. The boat is laminated in Kevlar. In a, it's a mixture between Kevlar and Aramat mm -hmm. that makes the boat a way more solid and rigid. And of course, is not as that light as you might think. Uh, going fast is definitely a mixture between weight and power ratio, but we will never go for the lightest boat possible. The boat has to be solid. The more the boat is solid, the more comfortable and safe you feel. We went out a couple of days ago for a spin over 56 knots. Actually, we exceeded the contractual maximum speed, which was 55. At the day of the first test, we, we did more than 58, of course, then without personal belongings on board. Mm -hmm. But I believe that when you, you felt yourself making a U-turn at 50, 52 knots, you, you have to feel safe, mm -hmm. first of all. Going too light won't take up to the comfort that our clients, they do look for. The word standard is something that is not actually in our vocabulary. When standard is the hull shape, whatever you see is then built by hand on board, like the built-in interiors, and uh, entirely customized on client choice. Yeah, so, that's an important. That's an important point you're bringing that, up. Is that in this size range, you don't see full you. customization. Thank you. And and, and, and in a 58-footer, an owner can walk on here and say, "I want to put my personal stamp, and this is the boat I want," and you build it. And I bet you are not talking about leathers no. or, or or you know colors. Uh, we are talking about structural modifications. We are talking about major and extreme modification. We made a clear choice. Uh, the shipyard is uh, about to celebrate our 67th birthday. We want and we can make three, four boats per year, no more than that. Due to the fact that we build our boats by hand, especially the interiors. Uh, like for instance, the interior bulkheads, they are not just lying on the floor but they are welded and laminated to from the, the keel, from the hull, to the deck. Which then, when you assemble hull and deck, it comes out to be a monolithic structure. Yeah. Again, never too light. We use Aramat and Kevlar, going all bouncing and riding over 50 knots in 20 years. Mm -hmm. Then you must come out with a result. Uh, to us, it's not a choice, it's a must. The boat must be over rigid, over structured, and must be super safe in right. terms of in terms of weight. Yeah. So I mean, uh, you know, the, my takeaway is it's not just performance; it's performance with comfort. No, uh, we, it can't be only performance. We we are no more. We quit with offshore racings. Mm -hmm. Offshore racings brings you from A to B. You don't need to think about the cabins. You don't need to think about more than two tons of uh, music system on top mm -hmm. of our head. Uh, when is the time of having a family on board and spending weeks or months? Or like in this case, the boat has done more than 3,000 nautical miles in uh, five weeks after delivery. Wow. Pretty much, I would say, it covered 40% uh, of the med. 
Uh, we can't be so fast and not taking care about the comfort. Boating has to be safe. Boating has to be comfortable. And uh, being able to put all this into a well-proven yeah. hull shape and into a very fuel-efficient hull shape. Yeah. Yeah. That's I mean, quite a challenge. Yeah, I mean, the boat runs on rails when this thing is at speed. It cruises like 45 knots, you know? Yeah. But you can dial in the type of performance you'd like because you can put whatever, you have engine options here that you can swap out. This is the correct. biggest engine option available, correct? Correct. In the GTS version yeah. is so far the more powerful. I already invite you for the next one. Everyone is yeah. trying to go. And the engines in this boat are? Two MTU. Mm -hmm. by 1830 HP okay. and again it's a boat you can cruise at 40 45 knots cruising speed and then uh, up to 56 58 allowed me to say depending on uh, on uh, who is at the wheel but if somebody wanted to put smaller MTUs that's possible absolutely our let's say base offer is with MTU 1006 mm -hmm. which will give you um, a top speed exceeding 52 knots, which mm -hmm. is already, I would say, quite a remarkable number. What I would say is the real number that buyers and builders look at is the cruising speed. Mm -hmm. No one goes 10 hours at right. the maximum speed. The secret is to have quite a remarkable cruising speed, knowing that at that cruising speed, in our case, bad boy's case is over 45 knots, she burned less than 10 liter per mile, mm -hmm. which if you make the calculation going from here to Sardinia, it's no more than three hours burning away less than other boats simply because of the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're saving the time, so you're saving the I mean, more. liter per mile, fair enough. But then, <laughs> how long does it take? Right. I burn 100 liters less, but then you go four hours more. So mm -hmm. it's the equation is right. has to be taken into consideration. So on the GTS that we're on today, again, the owners can design however they like. What, what, was, what did this owner want and kind of what's the layout of this boat? What you see, as in, in all autumn units, is entirely reflecting the owner choice. Mm -hmm. Nothing is standard except, as I said, the hull and the engine and the engine room shape and, and volume. Mm -hmm. We never compromise on that. What you see has been designed for hand with the owner. So they can choose the shape of the helmet, the shape of the helm station, more than the shape of the pilot seats. It goes without saying it, materials. Those are not customizations. I mean, I'm mm -hmm. talking about shapes and uh, furniture that I, uh, they are built, uh, uh, again, by hand on board. Mm -hmm. We don't send a drawing, a shop drawing to a woodmaker mm -hmm. that gives us a truck and then we simply assemble. The boats are built in. So the old partitions and the old wood pieces, they are made by hand, avoiding imperfections the more we can, mm -hmm. and mainly avoiding vibrations. Mm -hmm. So having all these structural bulkheads, plus a built-in interior, plus the limitless freedom that we choose to give to clients, mm -hmm. this makes us a little world apart. Mm -hmm. No matter if we are all in the same boat show, we are definitely part of the industry, but I would say by choice, we are on the other side of the metal. So in addition to the GTS, you have a couple other versions of a 58 that sure. you can order, and those would be? The iconic ones, they were the pure open one, mm -hmm. 58 open or HD, hardtop. So in addition to the 58, what are some of the other models that you offer? Uh, our, our line goes from 45 footer, we say, let's say the entry level, so it's 45. Again, can be open, can be GTS, mm -hmm. can be hardtop then 58, then 70, mm -hmm. which again has been designed by Giuseppe Bagnard, DBG design firm. Then we go 80, 85 GTS, and the new 90. The new 90, it's already in production. Our number one has been sold. Mm -hmm. And I promise you, I can't wait to be on board of that. And in a couple of years, she will be shown mm -hmm. in, at the Cambodia. So Matteo, thank you very much for uh, giving us this look of the 58 GTS. And if somebody wanted more information, where could they find it? On Autumn website, 
www.autumn.it, and of course, Matteo Bellardinelli at autumn.com. You can just call him Matteo. Again, thank you, and thank you for spending time with us at the Con Yachting Festival on the Autumn 58 GTF. But stay tuned for more, because more is coming.